My name is Andrew Allen. I'm a professor at the J. Craig Venter Institute and the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Diatoms are a particular type of phytoplankton. So they are single-celled photosynthetic microbes that live in the sunlit part of, of, of the ocean. And they're one of uh, many types of, of phytoplankton, but they're particularly important because they are a very uh, short link between nutrients and fisheries. So, so diatoms have a very strong affinity for nutrients. They're able to um, consume large amounts of nutrients very rapidly. So diatoms fuel some of the shortest, most efficient food webs in the ocean. And altogether, they contribute around 50% of global primary production. So diatoms are also very interesting because they are the product of uh, evolutionarily, the product of an animal and a plant cell and um, and contemporary diatom genomes, there's a real melting pot of different um, types of genetic information. So we're trying to understand um, how all of this fits together to make an organism. My name is Tyler Cole. I'm a researcher here at the J. Craig Venter Institute. I'm also a graduate student at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. So this recent work is an investigation of the specific processes that diatoms use to acquire iron from seawater. Uh, previously, it had been known that, I, that iron is acquired in its inorganic form, that is, iron that is not bound to any organic molecule. But this work shows that under certain conditions, iron that's bound to organic molecules can serve as a, as a supply of iron to diatoms they can then fuel their growth. So originally, this research was born out of um, transcriptomic profiling of a diatom species under low iron conditions. And that gave us an idea of specific genes that we we're interested in investigating. But to really target those genes, what we had to do was use CRISPR-Cas9 technology to knock those genes out, remove them from the diatom's genome, and then see what the phenotype was, see how the cells changed without these two different genes. And what we found here was that both of those genes are required for this type of iron uptake. Well, I think there's really a lot of directions to go with this, with this research. Uh, one is monitoring diatoms in situ in, in the field. I think that um, the biological side of ocean, of ocean observing is, is poised for major breakthroughs uh, involving uh, robotics technology where we can monitor the physiological and biochemical status of phytoplankton populations uh, in, in, in real time. But in order to do that, we need to know which genes to monitor and how they respond to which resources. And so this would be uh, or, um, th these, these genes, these ferric reductase genes and the siderophore assimilation genes would be um, excellent targets for coastal monitoring because they really tell us something about the micronutrient status of, of diatom populations. But from a more applied point of view, there's a lot of interest in um, developing diatom biotechnology for um, valuable pharmaceuticals and, and lipids and things that could be useful for agriculture and, and things like that. And so using bacterial episomes and CRISPR and understanding primary metabolism are all you know, very important for developing diatom biotechnology so that uh, it might be useful for us.